Okay, we will see how to create a customized dashboard using Wix. We will start the, uh, we need to select the template and we starting creating uh, one of the site. We will see, it's, uh, now we are in the editing mode. Editor mode, uh, take time to open. Okay, I have selected uh, consulting firm business uh, template and it must have the login information there and uh, we go to add new page uh, to create the dashboard. We need to go to the new page, create uh, look like a dashboard. Okay, uh, now we are in the new page. We can uh, now create design. Actually, our dashboard we are giving heading, uh, it's called uh, my dashboard. My dashboard. Okay. Uh, we can create whatever you like uh, according to your preference you can decide uh, any text speech uh, whatever you can add uh, you can color it and it looks like beautiful mm -hmm. uh, you can design whatever you like you can we need to reduce the size and uh, center and uh, then we will need to provide the information when the cast uh, one of the, our client in login to the uh, their own dashboard they can see their own information first of all uh, uh, we are capturing all the information based on the uh, user login therefore one of the um, client login to the register in your website this information captured by the system that uh, user ID that's mean email ID uh, we can we can use to create connect uh, data in future whatever data you like we can connect through the user ID or email ID we can provide the username also and uh, we can add a new new information rule uh, called uh, our last updated time also uh, we can uh, provide the customer what is the last update last login last login to the their own dashboard all information are automatically coming because uh, in the membership site it's captured these all information once the uh, client registered to the system Okay, now we'll uh, create the basic information. Then uh, we need to give the uh, answer for this. The answers will come in through the system automatically. Uh, we'll see how to do it. We will need to add another. Uh, columns, text boxes uh, to give the answers for each one. Uh, actually, the this for the answers. Now we need to move to uh, create the other information. Normally, the members uh, we we can add the list. Uh, as example, in here in the client uh, documents, we are expecting to share with the client their own document only that uh, relevant client can see their own documents therefore uh, these document we are connected with the user id user id that means the email id actually uh, then only that customer can see the client can see that information we, we only need the file name uh, in this one uh, and uh, the others we need to delete it this is a repeater 
hundred amounts of uh, even hundred amounts of the documents we can present here we not need to add them manually or not need to add uh, uh, boxes uh, for this because automatically is coming we need the uh, button to download that document also we keep this one uh, and others information we will delete Okay, uh, now I need to arrange the size also. Uh, we need a file name and download icon. Okay, now a uh, simple dashboard is created. Now we need to go to the, uh, we need to set up the dashboard uh, database for this. Uh, Okay, it looks nice. You can create whatever you can add the background picture, any or any other things you can uh, do. This is a simple one. Then we are go to the add. Uh, we need to add the database, but here is not showing the database. We need to go to dev mode. That's mean developer mode. Uh, we need it's not, we need to turn on that. Uh, developer mode then uh, database uh, section is come okay Okay, we are going to the, uh, we, we can go to the database, the database mode, uh, we just keep it away, this one, okay, then minimize. Manager here is we will create a new collection data collection starting creating we adding the name to the data collection we, we need to provide a custom custom data collection here is there's a list uh, custom collection and the, then you continue and the, uh, you can uh, content can view the read the content for anyone but other also we keep admin adding the data and all the things it's nice creating the client document collection as a new database Okay, we add a new column here. It should be uh, our members, private members, user email ID. User e email ID. We can see it through the, this database. This is a system generated database. Here is the user email ID. We can go to the properties and find the field key. Okay, then copy it. That's the field key. Okay, back. We are going to back to the our client document database. We need to uh, we need to connect those database together. Here we add in email ID. The same same key we use in here field key same field key we use they then connect both together only the base uh, only the thing is the very important thing is we we need to connect those database together by here field type it should be reference remember that reference and then uh, what is the database we referring the private members data we can choose this one that system generated database and just save it. 
Now both databases are connecting together and we can add another information we, we need. We can add any other information to connect with the both database. This, here I use the document name as a text type, then the document to download the car, uh, client. Here is the document. You see in the uh, field type is also save it. Okay, we created the new database here. Then now both databases uh, will connect together. But uh, this client document database is uh, updated by admin. Therefore, you need to add the information to here. Then it's automatically at a point to the each uh, client based on the system system uh, user email id because the, both database is connected the thing is now we add in the uh, one uh, document here the business registration as example and choosing the document to upload okay uploading my computer for my computer yes so we'll choose a we'll choose a document one of the document the whole lot of document here uh, it's so difficult to find the document anyway we'll select one of it uh, Okay, I said one. Yeah. Now it's uploading it. Uh, now add to the item. It's now that item is added, but its user email is not appear here because we need to appoint each user email. That's mean based on the client. We need to do it manually, but uh, when we update. Both systems database are connected together. The other item we will add it here. Another rule. Another document I'm selecting from the computer. Uh, you see the other document, uh, whatever document. Uh, okay, as an example. Okay, now it's uploading. Save it. Okay. Now we need to add the email ID. A point uh, here is not showing. Uh, the problem is we need to go to the online. We need to the update the information because the first time we created this one, then we're going back to the members data. Whether is this a data? Yes, yeah, here's the one. The my uh, email ID. And now, uh, uh, okay. Anyway, it's not coming here. We will go to the dashboard to create the dashboard to connect the dashboard with the database. We go to the. We will go back to, to the that connecting databases later. Now we here connecting dashboard to the database our document database selecting client document okay. here is the data set client document then uh, user email is showing here login email because both database now is available we can choose data from the both database username also we are connecting this name. Okay, we are selecting the date, last login date also. Now we are putting the document in the other database, but both databases are now connected together. Therefore, uh, we uh, choosing the document name here 
document name yes and the link to download that document connecting that information also going to connect the document document file yes okay. no label is not required then uh, okay that's right we are connected all uh, all information to the my dashboard yes now we are available the email id we choose in the document to each relevant user email and send rise the information updating the information but if you are uh, selecting sandbox to the live then it's okay then information is available we are in now in the back to dashboard this dashboard will now fully connected with the members it's the members in a login once the member is coming relevant document will show in here we not need to create the uh, manually it's automatically capture the information here we will see after the update yeah now we are in dashboard yes you can see the information based on the my login or the information so automatically capture in that information when come in the different uh, user if we arrange the document to the different user like a document to download then that information will show to that uh, customer or client if actually we not need to uh, pay for the dashboard if, if the logout the document is not showing therefore we will see the login back whether the information is showing this my login email my login back uh, yes now is information showing there that's mean uh, but if the non login customer is uh, looking this page they can download the document also and the big page uh, is to look like uh, empty page therefore we need to arrange this page to only the members members only page therefore we go into the page uh, and we are going to dashboard settings and here is the permission select the permission and members only then now okay only the login members can see this page yes publish view the site yeah okay now we'll see what happened now is i am log out we we'll try to dashboard yeah now is site is not showing we need to log in to see that site we'll try to log in okay yes now that what is come yeah now is that was showing if the cost yeah 